Should you be listening to music and playing chess at the same time? In today's video, I'm going to play six chess games. Three of them are going to be with music. The other three are going to be without music. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm listening to music. Okay, set second game. Still listening to music. Third and last game with music. Okay, we found a game and now we're playing without music. Okay, here's the second game without music. Okay, third last game. Sorry, I almost forgot. Okay, I just finished playing the games. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna analyze them and then we're going to make a conclusion. First, we're going to analyze the games where I was listening to music. So we played at Jubava London. It was a little bit weird. Um, both of our pieces went to the center and I got this position and after e5, it was a little bit unpleasant. Yet, even though I lost a pawn, um, I was kind of too too relaxed. And by the way, it's not like I've never played with music, like listening to music. It's just that this is the first time I tried to um, to play very, very well uh, while listening to music. Well, me sometimes when I'm listening to music, I'm just relaxing. And we got into this end game and I'm losing and I lost on time even. So, yeah, let's go to the next game. Next game was similar in terms of I was way too relaxed and in this position... Uh, I lost the pawn, but I was I was like I have compensation, and I do have compensation after queen d4. I was relaxed, and I found queen d4, which is pretty ha uh, I'm pretty happy about, because it's, it's it seems like I'm posing trouble, and I'm not I'm listening to music, which um, I might be spoiling this this the conclusion, but I I do not like listening to music while playing. But eventually, I ca complicate the game, and I take one of the pawns back. Then I equalize. I I was down two pawns. Now I'm down nothing. And my opponent realizes that this is a blunder. Now I'm winning. So my opponent has to give away pieces. And almost this is stalemate. Because this pawn cannot... Almost a stalemate, sorry. Um, this pawn cannot move. This bishop cannot move. This pawn cannot move. But luckily for me, this pawn and this king can move. So it's not stalemate. But pretty creative from my opponent. In this game, I also played... Eh. I noticed that the opening went more or less well. I was feeling well during all times, but that's not very accurate. Because if I was feeling well and I've been losing so far, then something must be wrong. And we got into this endgame where I'm down a pawn. I realized that I cannot take this pawn because of the fork on e2. So I already struggle, and then there's these lines. For instance, if I go king d2 in this position, c1 is winning. Bishop takes e1, bishop h6. So here I was struggling, and eventually we reached this endgame, and we trade more pieces. And this should be a draw. But uh, with correct play, but this is difficult. And eventually, I, I, it's kind of a tro time trouble. My opponent is winning by position, and on top of that, I lose on time. And listening to music, I only scored one point out of three. Not very good. Now we're going to analyze the ones that I wasn't listening to music. So once again, we play this line. This time, I decide to take on f5. Um, I move my knight like this. Now this knight was on c3 at some point, but now it's on i e5, which is better. And we got this position where e3 is a weakness, but it's well protected and... Eh, okay, maybe I'm slightly worse, but my knight is pretty cool. Pr pretty good, sorry. Um, I get queen b2. At some point I play c4, trying to get play in the queen side. And eventually we reach a position like this where I missed knight d3, which is winning the ma uh, material. But I play rook b2 and we're running out of time and after a couple of... Like, he sacrifices... Okay, black sacrifices the exchange. And then queen c1, queen c2, I don't know what's going on here. Um, and my opponent flags. I think this is probably equal, if not black is practically on top. But I managed my time better, I guess, so I won. In this next game, I was pretty happy with my play. I got a very good position out of the opening. Um, I was absolutely dominating because this bishop is stopping the castling. I sacrificed more, more pawns. Eventually, we some complicated lines... 
some sacrifices later check i get material now i have a queen and a bishop for only two rooks so white has insufficient material i managed to defend my bishop very important so if white were to trade everything then i would have a, an extra pawn on a7 and eventually i just come out of this kind of eternal pin which did, did turn out to not be eternal and in this position i didn't want to draw we were running out of time but i thought i could win and instead of, of, of going to d6 like a normal person, I decided to go to a5 and I got checkmated. And then we have the last game. Uh, we played this line. I was pretty happy with the opening once again. Um, it looked like white was gaining some pressure on c6, but I think I'm on time. I castle, I attack the bishop, so bishop takes h6, g takes h6. My opponent probably realizes that knight takes c6 is met by bishop g5 and then bishop e8. So knight e3 is played, but now this knight is a little bit out of the play, out of game. This knight belongs on d2 or c3, I'm not quite sure. But um, eventually I sacrifice the exchange, queen g4, bishop g5, so queen takes f3. I'm going to take my exchange back. So g takes f3 was played, I play king h8, f4, and you're going to say, David, you sacrificed the exchange for nothing. Are you, are you insane? And I'm going to say, well, I have some compensation. My bishops are pretty good. I have the bishop here. My opponent's king is pretty unsafe. And after some some more moves, I just checkmated my opponent. So I was pretty happy with that last game. Conclusions. Even though I was having fun and I was relaxing more when I was listening to music, I think I play better when I'm not listening to music. And the reason of that, or because, well, or the reason why that happens, I think, is because I think if, if I'm listening to music, I feel like I'm like having too much fun and I lose some discipline that uh, gives me this boost on concentration while playing chess. Um, you should try it out, I think everyone's different, but of course you, you have to keep in mind that when you're playing professional chess, you cannot listen to music. So I'm glad I'm in that side of things, or maybe I'm just used to it, I don't know. Hope this was entertaining, and have a nice day.